Good morning and welcome. Happy spring. Today I'm going to share how to put together a quick spring basket for your table or your porch or just to give as a gift. It's very easy to make. I had just about everything on hand. I picked up this birdhouse from the Dollar Tree and I painted it and then I antiqued it. I've got some foam squares from the Dollar Tree and moss. I picked up these lovely English ivies um, from Lowe's. And then I had a white wicker basket. I love to keep baskets in stock in my stash. Then I had this cute little um, bird's nest that I found in my yard. And then I have two really pretty little feathered birds. So I put that together on a little piece of styrofoam. And then here is the white wicker basket. And the first step is to line that basket with some plastic so that the water doesn't drain through and the dirt doesn't come through the, the um, basket. And I'm just going to fill it up with some miracle Grow potting soil. And I'm going to place my foam um, in the basket where I want it. Kind of laid it out and decided how I wanted this basket to look. So once I got that, I just put the foam in and then I finish filling up the sides with the um, potting soil. Now the English ivy is, is really a very hardy plant. It will work well in this basket. If you don't have a green thumb, I highly recommend ivy because you can hardly kill it. Now you could add other type of plants, but for this, I just wanted something simple and easy to take care of. So that's why I just chose the um, English ivy. Now, after I've got my soil and packed down in, I'm gonna go back and trim off that excess plastic. You don't have to worry about the rest of it because it will be covered with that um, Spanish moss. Just pack it down in nicely and then um, make a hole. I'm gonna put ivy on either side of this basket. These were $5.98 a piece at Lowe's, and you can usually find some really pretty plants on the inside of Lowe's um, all during the year. These are considered like tropical plants that they keep inside, but um, ivy is very hardy. Um, once the frost danger is over, you can certainly keep this outside on a covered porch. So I'm just putting in um, the English ivy and it will grow and really fill in this basket and run down the sides and that's what I love. I love for um, plants to cascade down the sides of baskets. And you just keep playing with it and arranging it and then I'm going to um, place the little birdhouse on top of that piece of foam and then the bird's nest right below it. Now you could use anything. If you wanted to do a spring basket with bunnies, you could do that. If you wanted to make this into a fairy basket, um, you could do that. There's all kinds of ideas. Now once I've got everything in place, I'm going to fertilize those and water those two English ivies. And probably water it almost every two weeks. Um, ivy doesn't take a lot of water but just watch it. You want to keep the soil moist. Now, after I've kind of decided how I want everything to look, I'm going to start tucking in that um, Spanish moss. Filling in so that you don't see the dirt, the plastic, or the styrofoam. Now, I hot glue um, the birdhouse and the little bird arrangement because I have a lot of little hands in my house that love to touch things and take apart things so uh, I usually hot glue these things down so that they don't come out so easily and now you could certainly use that really pretty green moss um, in your baskets I chose the um, Spanish moss because of the gray color. It just matches my um, birdhouse so well. But you really could use any kind of um, moss or greenery to cover up that dirt. So just tuck it in. 
and you've got such a cute little basket. Very inexpensive. The basket was free. Um, the moss, like I said, was from the Dollar Tree. They have the green and the Spanish moss. The most expense was the ivy, and that was about $6 a pot. These make great gifts. Um, beautiful decorations. If you have a sunroom, these are so pretty, and they're low maintenance. And I just love a quick spring basket. It just lifts my mood when I put one of these on my kitchen table. And here it is all finished up you could certainly add a bow to it if you wanted to but I just love the natural look and the sweet little birds looking up at you so I'm going to put this one onto my dining room table I went ahead and set it for spring and I just love it oh it's so pretty it just cheers me up these would make great gifts if you've got friends or family members that you need to um, cheer up or give them a cute little basket just look for baskets at flea markets and thrift stores or put the word out that you collect them and then you can make something like this for your own table or to give us a gift so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching hope you all have a very blessed day and happy spring